today we have a 20 minute practice perfect for the beginner so come with an open mind bring a little blanket if you have one hop into something comfy and let's get started Pretty much as soon as the clocks changed and spring reared its head, I found myself more and more wanting to connect with the outside world. With each blooming flower and sight of bees and butterflies, I've been eager to explore the nature around me and just get outside from the studio. I've been away from YouTube for a little while, not for a lack of wanting to show up and connect with you all, but because I've actually just not been creating much at all. There's a familiar cycle of productivity, ideation and rest that seems to replay over and over again in this little routine I've nestled into and for the last few weeks I've just been soaking up every present moment as much as possible, taking time to observe and be connected to the world around me and that urge has felt like something I needed to listen to so it's just naturally left less time for me to create. But for the first time, I've been completely okay with that, understanding that my feelings of pressure to create or be productive or resistance to rest is not something I need to attach myself to anymore and I trust that when the time comes, I'll be back to creating once again. Hi, it's um, Monday evening. My first day in the studio is next Tuesday and I need to come up with designs and a timetable for the rest of this week so that I'm super, super organized because I have four weeks to make everything, which sounds like a lot, but when you factor in the time it takes to make stuff, drying time, bisque firing, glazing, second firing, it's a lot and I'm not in control of when the firings happen either and that's making me a little bit wary about having to buffer in some time in terms of when I get things done so that if things take a bit longer to get fired it's not going to delay anything. So yeah, I need to come up with that. I think realistically I need to be maybe quite realistic about the amount of things that I'm planning to make because one, my skill level isn't amazing. Like I'm still very much a beginner and I still need to get back into it as well. So I'm sure the first few things I make are gonna be truly terrible <laughs> where I'm like trying to remember things. So I've come up with two designs for coffee mugs, which will be just cute, cozy, very earthy and comfortable to hold and just just nice, like things that will look nice. I think coffee is one of the things in my routine in the mornings and afternoons as well, let's be honest, that I really look forward to and having a nice mug, you just can't beat it. Having something that you're happy to drink out of, just I feel like adds to the experience as stupid as that sounds, it definitely does. At least it does for me anyway. But then I've also come up with a teacup design and it's gonna be like a little dimple cup and I want that to kind of feel very similar to how tea makes me feel. So tea for me is like very comforting. It's what I have maybe in the evenings to wind down when I'm getting ready for bed, or if my tummy's not feeling great, or if I just want something a little bit more soothing compared to coffee, then yeah, I'll have a cup of tea. And I want the cups to kind of emulate that same sort of feeling. And I think I'm gonna go more down the kind of cute vibe for those cups as opposed to the standard, maybe a little bit more traditional kind of look for the coffee mug. Those are my thoughts at the minute, but I don't just wanna make mugs. I wanna have a little go at maybe coming up with some ideas for some bowls or some plates or anything really. Um, I'm trying to have a think and look around my house for like inspiration of like things that I could make because these aren't commercial things that I'm making. It's not like I wanna come up with ideas of things that I could sell, these are gonna be for me. Um, and if I have extra, then it will be pieces for my friends and family. So yeah, I don't know. I just wanna make things that are gonna get used and not just gonna be gathering dust somewhere. So that's what I need to think of. I'm gonna spend some time this evening sketching some ideas and yeah. Also, I wear glasses in the evenings now. I don't think I was wearing these. I definitely wasn't wearing these in my last video. This is a new update. It's about the only update I have. Looking back with hindsight, I think I was quite ambitious to design so many pieces. A lot of the time in creating, particularly when it's something I'm new to, my ideas feel like they're somewhat bigger than my skill set and it actually took me the whole of my first week in the ceramic studio to remember how to throw properly and to manage to pull up the walls of my pots enough for me to make something slightly resembling a mug. 
That being said, it's been so enjoyable to feel like a student of a new craft and it's so interesting how much each attempt at throwing will reflect the internal mood or perspective you bring. With each failure and collapsed pot, I've been reminding myself to practice patience and detachment, remembering that there's always a chance to take a breath and try again. Good morning, it is two days until I start this ceramic studio and I think I'm pretty much there. Design wise, everything I want to make, I think I've pretty much done a design for. Um, it's mostly the glazing, I'll be honest, I'm not being like very ambitious with what I'm trying to throw because I'm very new um, and my skill level is not, it's not there yet. So um, I, if I end up being able to do half of what I've designed then I'll be very happy, but I think I'm gonna just show you the stuff that I made in my lessons because I don't think I've shared that with you yet. But otherwise, I don't really have anything for the agenda today. I'll show you the little pots first. I was really hoping that I'd be able to um, use one of these as a mug, but I, I just don't think I can. They're just a little bit too small. Um, this is one of the first ones. I really thought that this one would be one that I could use for a mug, but it's just a little bit too shallow wide enough but slightly too shallow. I have tried it with coffee but it was just very small, very small. This is another little pot that I made. I love the speckles on this one. The glazes that they've got at the studio are really nice. Um, and I just did like a nice little simple bottom. The other bottom that I did, um, I tried to do a little bit more like detail work. I obviously had my initials on there. Obviously I've got this little pot. The glazes again just so nice, the colours are just really nice. And this is just one brush on glaze. This is, I don't think any of these have two glazes on um, to kind of see how they'll react together. This is all just one glaze, I'm pretty sure. This is the last of the little pots. And again, oh, it's so smooth. I trimmed that bottom very nicely. I didn't get to do a foot or anything on these because I was struggling to like get it properly in the center. And every time I did it, this it would just be slightly off. <laughs> Um, I really love the colours, it's hard to see on camera, but there's loads of like teal, burgundy, like dark brown. Yeah, like at first glance and far away it looks black, but then you look at it close, it's just so many nice rich deep colours in there. And then my bowls, I really love the kind of natural earthy glazes, but I just, I really wanted to keep these very simple, very natural. I love how the drip marks ended out. I love this kind of like burnt shade at the bottom. Really nice and really good size as well. It's a really good size. Um, we've had like yogurt and granola in here. Be good probably for porridge and stuff as well. Anything that's not too liquidy, I think would be really good in here because again, it's not the deepest. Still a good size. And then this one, which seems to be everyone's favorite, um, is this little pink and green bowl. I really want to experiment in my membership with using like exposed clay and glaze contrast in the same kind of design but I really like this one everyone seems to really like it it's nice shape as well good size again and then I really like the bottom I did like a little my initials and a little heart so I think I'm gonna do that for some of my other ones as well but yeah really like them that's all I have oh wait no there's one more I'm using it for a salt bowl at the minute so I can't show you too much of the inside but I just love how the glazes work. So this was actually the only one that I tried two different glazes. So this is the, it's called oatmeal, I believe. And then they have this like cornflower blue, which actually is more like this sort of color. And then I just dipped the top of it in there and it probably wasn't a thick enough. Um, I probably didn't leave it in there enough. So the glaze actually was quite thin, which is why it's not so saturated. But I actually really love it. And when I brought it home, my boyfriend said it looks like the waves coming onto a beach. And ever since he pointed that out, it's like, oh, so it's one of my favorite ones now. I think it's actually really lovely how it ended up.
ceramic studio is a shared space so I'm not always comfortable filming in there I try to be mindful of other people um, so I just filmed on this one particular day and unfortunately it wasn't a great day for throwing for me once again I was having issues that I strangely never had in my lessons and it's quite funny watching this footage back just to see how close to the clay I was getting when I was sensing it going off centre or forming weak points in the side where I was just getting it too thin. Um, it's been quite the journey doing this solo and although I'm still in love with it I was getting more and more tempted to hand build my mugs as I find it so much easier. And to be honest, I think I am going to do that next time, just so I know I will have something at the end of it that's going to be usable. After a couple failures though, I decided I was going to stop filming and just take my time. I slowly pulled up the sides using a different technique, and although I think the cylinders are still going to be too small once they're fired, I feel like I pulled the sides up to a decent height and made some progress. It made the whole day feel worthwhile and although it took me over three hours just to have three pots in the end, feeling like I stuck at it and found a technique that worked for me felt really gratifying and I'm proud of myself for not getting frustrated and giving up, which was definitely a tempting thought at the time. I was editing the video yesterday and I don't feel great about it. I don't feel like this is my best video ever. <laughs> That's okay. I think I've spoken about it a little bit in this video already, but I've just not been feeling very called to create. I think because since the clocks have gone back and 
springs come I just really want to be outside a lot and I don't necessarily feel very cool to be cooped up in the studio doing stuff so I'm just sitting with that and enjoying that um, but I really need to edit this video so I think I'm gonna end it here thank you so much for joining me I'm hoping that the next one I'll be able to share some more um, ceramics with you and yeah continue my little journey on being a student of a new craft and yeah <laughs>